If you've ever flown long haul in comfort and quiet aboard an Airbus A350, you may have wondered what does it actually cost to operate this cutting-edge jet? As one of the most modern wide-body aircraft in the sky, the A350 is a favorite of many airlines and passengers alike. But behind every smooth takeoff and gentle landing lies a complex web of expenses, from fuel and maintenance to crew and ownership. So how expensive is it to keep this aircraft flying? So in this video, we'll break down what it really costs to operate the Airbus A350, including estimates for hourly fuel burn, total flight costs, and comparisons with other long-haul aircraft like the Boeing 787 and 777. Whether you're an aviation geek, a curious frequent flyer, or someone just fascinated by what makes these aircraft tick and cost, here's a closer look at the numbers behind the A350's performance. In simple terms, the Airbus A350 has an average operating cost of around $8,500 to $9,500 per flight hour. Where the exact figure lands depends on the specific variant, its configuration, the route, and fuel prices at the time. Further, the figure includes key cost components like fuel, maintenance, crew, depreciation, and insurance. Taking one example, the A350-900 typically burns 5.8 to 6.2 metric tons of fuel per hour, while the larger A350-1000 burns slightly more at about 6.9 metric tons per hour. These numbers are highly competitive in the long-haul twin-engine aircraft market. According to an Air Insight analysis comparing the A350-900 to the Boeing 787-9, the A350-900 averages $8,749 per block hour, including fuel, crew, maintenance, and ownership costs. This is very close to the 787-9's estimated $8,879 per hour. But of course, block hour costs don't tell the whole story. Airlines must also factor in seat count, cargo capacity, average route length, and utilization rates. When adjusted for capacity, the A350 often has better per-seat economics than some of its competitors. But again, there are so many variables that it's difficult to rule one type better than another. The Airbus A350 family consists of two main models, the Dash 900 and the Dash 1000. These aircraft are designed for long-haul routes and, as you probably know by now, feature cutting-edge materials, aerodynamics and engine technology. Both variants exclusively use variants of the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB power plant, which are among the most efficient wide-body engines ever built. From the data we gathered, these are the total hourly operating costs of the A350's variants. When it comes to fuel consumed per hour, it's $4,500 to $5,000 for the Dash 900 and $5,000 to $5,500 for the Dash 1000. Maintenance comes in at $1,200 to $1,400 for the Dash 900 and $1,300 to $1,500 for the Dash 1000. Obviously, maintenance isn't happening every hour that the aircraft is operating, but this is how it divides. $1,100 to $1,300 per hour is spent on crew for the Dash 900, and it's about the same for the Dash 1000. And finally, factoring in depreciation, it's $1,000 for the Dash 900 and $1,200 for the Dash 1000. So, as mentioned earlier, the cost to operate an A350-900 is estimated to be $8,500 to $9,000 per hour and $9,000 to $9,500 per hour for the Dash 1000. A variety of interconnected factors shape the true operating costs of the A350 some of which airlines can control and others they cannot. Fuel prices are the most volatile and significant contributor to cost. Thus, it's important to strongly emphasize that these values are industry estimates and can vary significantly depending on specific airline contracts, labor costs, fuel hedging, aircraft age, and utilization rates. We know that many of these things vary from country to country and also change over time. Aircraft utilization also plays a major role. The A350 is most economical when flying long sectors with high seat loads, ideally over 12 to 14 hours of flight time. Underutilized aircraft or those flying short segments suffer in terms of per mile efficiency. 
crew and maintenance costs are also substantial. Maintenance, repair and overhaul or MRO contracts vary by airline and geography, but newer aircraft like the A350 benefit from lower initial costs due to warranties and modern systems. However, MRO costs increase as the aircraft ages. Finally, factors like airport fees, insurance premiums and financing terms all influence hourly costs. And so what about the competition? Well, they deserve their own respective videos, but let's briefly compare. According to Air Insight, the A350-900 and 7879 have virtually identical block hour costs, but the A350 offers more range and higher maximum payload, which makes it potentially more profitable depending on configuration and load factor. From a per-seat cost perspective, the A350 often outperforms its rivals particularly when configured with higher density layouts. The combination of wide fuselage and low fuel burn make it attractive for both full-service and leisure airlines. Despite being one of the most advanced and efficient wide-body aircraft in the sky, the Airbus A350 does come with a few significant drawbacks, especially when viewed through the lens of operational economics and flexibility. The most immediate challenge is its high acquisition cost. The A350-900 carries a list price of around $317 million, making it a substantial capital investment. While airlines often negotiate significant discounts, even the lower real-world prices can be out of reach for smaller or cost-sensitive carriers. For operators opting to lease rather than buy, the monthly rates can still be steep, often exceeding $1 million depending on the aircraft's age and market conditions. Beyond acquisition, operating the A350 comes with a specific performance profile that doesn't suit every type of route. Although it's remarkably efficient on long-haul missions, the aircraft is less economical when used on short- or medium-haul sectors. Its high fixed costs, including fuel, crew and airport fees, are best spread over long distances with high seat loads. Using an A350 on low-yield or underutilized routes can diminish its cost advantages and potentially hurt profitability. Maintenance costs are another consideration, particularly when it comes to the aircraft's Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines. While these engines are among the most fuel-efficient in commercial aviation, their upkeep can be expensive without favourable long-term maintenance, repair and overhaul or MRO agreements. Over time, these costs accumulate and can erode some of the economic benefits the A350 provides in its early years. It's perhaps more of an isolated case and a blip in the overall lifespan of the A350, but the Qatar Airways surface degradation crisis would have definitely made the aircraft type a headache to operate. Restoring and repainting those degraded surfaces wouldn't have come cheap, although we expect that Airbus would have covered some, if not all, of that cost. The bottom line is that the A350 delivers outstanding performance in the long-haul wide-body sector, with hourly operating costs of around $8,500 to $9,500 and industry-leading fuel efficiency, it's among the best-in-class aircraft for global airlines looking to optimize cost per seat mile on intercontinental routes. Its long range, quiet cabin and flexible payload capabilities make it ideal for premium heavy markets and ultra-long-haul missions. That said, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, and airlines must carefully match route profiles and market demand to fully realize the A350's economic benefits. As fuel prices remain volatile and environmental regulations tighten, aircraft like the A350 can be key drivers in airline profitability. So expect the A350 family to remain a cornerstone of long-haul fleets for decades to come, especially for airlines prioritizing efficiency, passenger comfort and reduced emissions. What's your reaction to the estimated operating costs of an Airbus A350? Let us know by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.